Can we eat red urchins like this? No, you try. Oh, no, sweetie, that's a rock. Shellington, how's the diving lesson going? Well, Perry's found three red rocks, two red shells, one grumpy red crab, <coughs> but no red urchins. How about you? It took a while, but we managed to clear the red urchins out of the kelp forest. Oh, well, that should keep them under control, at least until it gets dark. Captain, red urchins are most active at night. They might try to come back when the sun goes down. In that case, we'd better stay the night. We'll take turns looking out for urchins. Now, you're sure you'll be okay up there, Shellington? Of course, Captain. Nothing like sleeping out under the stars, sea otter style. Ah, we're holding hands and holding on to kelp. So we don't uh, float away. Uh. <sighs> Still no sign of any urchins. Hello? Hey, can't the guy have dinner in peace? Oh, excuse me, I thought you were... <gasps> oh, urchins! Oh no! That's the strand of kelp Shellington's holding on to. <laughs> Shellington, come in, Shellington. Your kelp strand is loose. Oh, um, I just want to sleep. Just a few minutes more, Mum. <laughs> Flappity flippers! Captain, come in, Captain. The urchins are coming. The urchins are coming. Lots of them. Quasi! Yeah. What? Sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts to the Gup A! <laughs> Octonauts, we have a saltwater crocodile who is lost and in danger from the icy cold water. Our mission is to find him and take him home. Quasi, peso, to the Gups! Remember, Octonauts, this is a huge creature we're looking for. If it feels threatened or scared, it may attack us. Aye, and the way it nearly swatted me gut, that tail could crush us like a tin can. It would more likely chomp you with its massive jaws and teeth. Keep a sharp lookout, me hearties. That croc could be lurking anywhere. Below us, behind us, or above us. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> And he might be injured. Let's take a closer look. He's not moving. He doesn't seem to be breathing. I've got to find out what's wrong. We'll back you up, Peso. Shellington, stand by to assist. He's got a heartbeat, but very soft and slow. Shellington, any idea what's going on with him? Yes, Captain. When saltwater crocodiles get very cold, their bodies can slow down and go into a kind of sleep where they don't need to eat or breathe air for a long time. So, he'll be fine. After he wakes up, he'll head home. The saltwater crocodile might not know his way home, Quasi, and he may not be able to wake up at all because of the extreme cold. We need to get him back to the octopod and warm him up. But he's too big to fit through the octahatch. I wasn't thinking of bringing him inside the octopod. Octonauts, prepare to warm up a saltwater crocodile. The croc's a 
attached to the octopod cap. He's as snug as a bug. Really big bug. And this will tell us how he's doing. Good. Hey, sir, stay with him. Everyone else, back to the ship. Dashi, raise the temperature of the octopod as hot as you can get it. Hot. And set a course for the saltwater crocodile's home in Australia. Captain, it's working. The crocodile's body temperature is warming up. He's not the only one. It's as hot as the Amazon jungle in here. He's breathing again. It means the crocodile is warming up. But now that he's breathed out, the croc is going to need to breathe in. And he breathes air, not water. Now for the biggest job of all. The water tanks have to be flushed out and then refilled. Here we go. Oh. Do you need some help? <laughs> there you go. That's better. Thanks for the muscle, Captain. Oh dear. Now my friend sounds as if she's in trouble. I've got to help her. Don't worry. Uh, I'm on my uh, way. Uh, I think all the noise from the octopod is confusing my gigantic whale friend. Hey, big fella! Um, Captain, the radar shows that something's heading towards the octopod. Something big and fast. It looks like it's gonna hit us. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's a big blue whale, Captain. A blue whale? Blue whales are the biggest animals that have ever lived, Captain. It would be a disaster if one of them hit us. Quasi, you've got to stop him. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. But all of this noise is... Um, Captain... I think we have another problem. There's something else coming towards us from the other direction. It must be the blue whale's friend. If they hit the octopod, they're going to hurt themselves and us. Hmm. Blue whales are big but gentle. Why would they head straight for us? Oh dear, it's difficult to think with all this noise. Noise? Professor, do you think? Yes, of course. Whales use sonar, that's sound waves, to find out where they're going, to steer around rocks, and to talk to each other. So, our noise is messing with their sonar. The sounds we're making must be confusing the whales. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I've been trying to tell you. A vast! It is the legendary deep sea unicorn! Ha! Ah, that's no unicorn. It's a narwhal. A narwhal? A narwhal. Fascinating. It's a very special type of whale with a spiral tusk growing from its head. They only live here in the Arctic. That tusk is actually a long tooth, very much like an elephant's. By the way, unicorns are make-believe. Narwhals, on the other hand, are quite real. I knew that. Hello, Boris. Barnacles? <laughs> what a surprise. It's good to see you, old friend. It's good to see you too. I've known Boris ever since I was a cub. Yes, he was quite something, this bear. Always a leader, even as a young cub. But what are you doing inside all this ice? Our engines have frozen. We could really use your help getting out of here, old friend. 
But of course, my tusk is very, very good at telling if things are warm or cold. I can lead you out of the ice and into warmer, open water. Thank you, Boris. Now, we just have to work out how to get the ship moving again. Cap, the Octa engines are frozen solid. In that case, I'm going to need to change gups. Tweak, prepare the gup C. Okay, everyone. Here we go. Arr! One more time. There. Oh no! I don't believe it! Another solid wall of ice! Allow me, my friend! What's he doing? Using his tusk to feel how thick the walls are. Remarkable! As I thought, is always one place where the ice is thinnest. <laughs> You better swim aside, old friend. Leon? I feel great, and I'm looking good. Check out my nice new skin and fur. You've finished all your molting. Congratulations. Chest bump! <laughs> Whoa, sorry. Uh, didn't mean to knock you over with that. Oh, not to worry. I'm fine. I'm just excited to get to the beach and play with all the other elephant seals. Well, I'm afraid we haven't found your beach quite yet. You haven't? But this is a special time when all of us wake up and play games. And I'm missing out on all the fun. Don't worry, we'll find your beach. And while we're looking, we can have fun here on the Octopod too. We can? Can we play some elephant seal games? You know, like we do on the beach? I'd love to. I'll show you the games room in the morning. Okay, let's start with one of my favorite games, wrestling. Wrestling? Yeah, elephant seals love to wrestle. Flipper to flipper. Okay, flipper to flipper. Whoa. Okay, uh, we'll make it two flippers against one. On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Phew. Sorry about that. Uh, sometimes I forget how strong I am. Oh, not to worry. I'm fine. But maybe we should try a different game. Hmm. How about a race? You're on. To the hallway. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a head start. Thanks. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Not to worry, I'm fine. Leon! Look out! Oh! Quasi, on the beach! 
elephant seals. And not a moment too soon, eh, Captain? Come in, Shellington. This is Barnacles. We're sneaking into the walrus colony now. Excellent. Now it's very important that you act like a walrus. Don't let them push you around. Huh. Must be a new guy. Walruses say hello by blowing in each other's faces. Blow back or they'll think you're being rude. Oh, um... <sighs> That's all you've got. <sighs> um, we need to blow harder. Everybody. One, two, three. <gasps> <sighs> Now that's more like it. Nice to meet you. If you've got any extra clams, give them to the chief. He's hungry. We've all got to share our food until he feels better and can find his own. Right. Thanks for the tip. It's working. We've made it inside the colony. One of Peso's stickers. We must be getting close. Keep your eyes peeled. You're stepping on me tail. Sorry. But it's hard when they keep smooshing up against us. Ah, typical walrus behaviour. They love to get cosy and cuddle with one another. Cosy isn't quite the word for it. <laughs> That's better. You don't get too relaxed. Aye, oh, hey, what's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. <sighs> Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus heading right for us. Jumping jellyfish. It's a walrus challenge. Ugh. He wants to see who's bigger and tougher. If we want him to tell us where the bag is, we'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> bigger. <laughs> Are you okay, Peso? Um, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? M medical bag? It's white and uh, it opens up and inside... Oh, you mean uh, the funny white clam that I found? I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! <laughs> Careful. Quasi, try to get back into position. Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting Ooh. on my... Intruders! What's your plan, Quasi? Well, I reckon these belugas must be getting pretty hungry by now. So I brought them a little fish biscuit snack. Good to see a tunic. Yes, it's working. Now shit on your whiskers. Those little fishies think this is food for them. Go away. Go on. Go. Go. Leave it alone. Belugas, follow me. It's dinner time. Too many scary noises have to stay by the hall where it's safe. Why aren't they following me? Belugas, like all whales, are scared of loud, strange noises. So, the sound of the gup sea cracking the ice and the sound of, well, quasi, probably scared them. How can we show them that this path to open water is safe? Professor Inkling, any ideas? I know exactly what sounds will make the belugas follow you. An old whale song recording. They'll hear their own sounds and follow right along. It's working! <laughs> oh, 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 my. We're losing them again. We've got to do something, Captain. The path is already starting to freeze over. 
That noise they make, that sounded a little bit like... Peso's music. Peso, we need you and your xylophone out here right away. Captain, are you sure this is the best time for music? This is exactly the time for music. Your music. Captain, I'm ready to play. All right, Peso. It's showtime. So xylophone playing sounds just like the Beluga song. Have to stay close to the hole where it's safe. But those sounds are so nice. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. It's okay. We can breathe along this path. So, me poor little penguin pal, don't worry, I'll hunt that see-through scallywag across the seven seas and back again if I have to. Quasi. Even if it takes months. Quasi. Even if it takes years. Even if it takes... A Quasi. Dashi may have found a way to find Peso. Well, why didn't you say so? Let's go. This is no time to sit around talking. Peso must be too far away to talk to us on his helmet radio, but if I use the gut finder map to find his radio, maybe I can make... There he is! A peso finder. Good work, Dashi. Yow! Let's go after him. Full speed ahead. That is, when you say so, Captain. Full speed ahead. Jelly, we have to get away. Big fishy want to play? Ah, no, this isn't a game. <laughs> you know, Jelly, I'm beginning to think you're enjoying this jam we're in. Jelly, it's a jam! <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. We need to hide. Hide inside! Inside? Inside what? <laughs> Actually, I said, whoa, not... Oh, wow. You can glow. Glow! Glow! glow. It looks like he's falling down some sort of tunnel. Then let's head down with him. According to your peso finder, he should drop out of that hole any moment. Octonauts, we don't have much time, so here's the plan. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Back of the net. <sighs> Phew. Fun, fun. I guess it was kind of fun. Your comb looks better already. Again! Again! <laughs> Sorry, Jelly. I think I've had enough fun for one day. Maybe enough for a week. Time for a picture. It's a shame it's so dark down here. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Jumping jellyfish! Uh, I mean, jumping comb jelly! He's like a floating light show. Jelly glue! Good work, Peso. Looks like you found a new creature. And a new friend. Say Jelly! <laughs> jelly! Huh? Oh no! The ice is breaking in two! Peso! Jump! Yeah. Uh, uh. Hang on! Whoa! We've got to stay with the gun. Jump again. <laughs> oh! Peso! Use me as a bridge! 
Yes. Gotcha. Phew. Yeah. We've looked everywhere for them down here. Hey, what about spy hopping? Spy hopping? What's that? Spy hopping is how we look around up above the water. Yeah, watch me, Quasi. Well, I'm no walker, but I'll give it the old pirate try. You did it! Well done! Thanks, matey. But there's lots of ice up there, too. Better stay with the pod, Quasi. Yeah, we orcas always stick together. Aye, let's start spy hopping! I think I see something. It's barnacles and peso. We found them. What's happening? Quasi, you found us. I knew you would. Hi, thanks to our orca pals here. But where's the guppy? Um, up there. It's still stuck in the ice. How are we going to get it back in the water? If only we could tip this iceberg back over again. I reckon our orca friends could help. Yeah, we love ice tipping. Ice tipping? It's what we orcas do to find food. I'm trying to eat. You can't take a bite out of that. Plus, I'm a lot tastier. Seriously? Ooh, I'll try anything once. Well, you'll have to catch me first, matey. Woohoo! Oh, my fat hurts. Mm, but I'm still gonna get you. <laughs> Here, shocky, shocky. Follow me this way. Good work, Quasi. And flip! I feel so calm. Do you still want to eat us? Why would I want to eat you? I just want to be your friend. Captain, he's in a trance. Calm as a clam. Time for the next part of the plan. <laughs> that kind of tickles. <laughs> Good for a ride. OK, the shark is calm, he's moving and he's breathing. Now I can bandage his fin. Be careful, Peso, and quick. The shark won't be calm for long. Right ho, Peso. Nice and steady. Ah! Ooh, a wee penguin. I'm here to bandage your fin. <laughs> that tickles, Pop. <laughs> uh oh, I didn't know you were ticklish. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Steady. Just have to get down to the bin. Okay, I think this calls for a super speedy triple loop around the shark fin rack. Hurry, Peso. He could come out of his trance any second. There. Good as new. How do you feel? Good. I'm hungry. Oh no, you're out of your trance. Peso! Flappity flippers! You saved my life. I should just say thank you, but I'm hungrier than ever. Hop on, matey! A cat, a penguin, and a crunchy motor thingy. That's an all you can eat party! Hey, I feel fantastic! Was he the shark's after us? No problem. We just need some more speed. Hold on! Ah! 